can you now tell me how I'll get my corn? Asked Parrot impatiently. Patience, patience. There must be patience in everything, replied Anansi. Not so fast. You will soon get your corn, continued Anansi. But let me tell you, I would like to go to Cherry Island with you. It is far away beyond the deep blue. It takes hours of flying. The journey is also dangerous. Brother Red Hawk is always lurking on the way to attack us. We have to hire Brother Pichiri to chase him each time he approaches us. Brother Pichiri is getting so expensive nowadays that we can hardly afford to pay him, lamented Parrot. If I come with you, I will chase Brother Red Hawk, offered Anansi. You won't be able to come as you cannot swim and you cannot fly. If each bird lent me a feather, I will be able to fly with the assistance of a rope that I will take to pull me through the air, argued Anansi. You have a very good plan, Anansi. As soon as the birds have their next congress, we will discuss the matter, said Parrot, nodding his head convincingly. It was coming close to summer, so the birds held their congress. They all decided that each bird would lend Anansi a feather as he would chase Brother Red Hawk free of cost. Brother Parrot was coming home. Sorry, Brother Parrot was going home when he met Brother Anansi on the road. Every bird has decided to lend you a feather. Summer starts next week. We all agree that you will come, that we will come by your yard early in the morning. We will dress you in bird feathers for the journey. No, where is my corn? Asked Parrot impatiently. As soon as we return, you will get all the corn you will ever need, Anansi assured him. Didn't I ask you to, to exercise some patience? Exclaimed Anansi. As Anansi rounded a sharp bend, the black smooth feathers of Parson Drunkro popped into sight. He tried to run away, but Parson Drunker grabbed him by the waist and pulled him up. Anansi, where is my money that you owe me? I want it now. Parson, I could have paid you long ago, but I know that you badly wanted a parrot. You will be happy to know that I used the money to buy a lovely parrot for you. I know that you're a preacher, so I got a parrot who is an excellent preacher. You have to keep it in a cage. It is a sensitive bird that preaches well. All you have to do is to take a little rod and prod it in the cage, smiled Anansi deceptively. Fantastic, fantastic. I am as happy as a lark, exclaimed Parson Drunkro. I can't wait to be the owner of such a wonderful parrot. How soon can I get it? Asked Parson Drunkro in delight. In a few days, promised Anansi, make a bird cage and place it on the step at your back door. When I come, I will whistle three times. I do not like to scream out people's names. When I whistle, you simply come outside and collect your bird. Anansi, I've changed my impression of you. I can see that you have been thinking of me all this time smiled Parson Drunkro. I must apologize for, for accusing you in such a mean way. It's all because I did not hear from you.